the story of the 90s, 1990, the summer to be more precise. I mentioned the um, professional aspect with getting hooked uh, with the American, connected with the American Embassy and then the others, and eventually AT&T, with the money from all these businesses and tours, uh, I invested in Algernon, and here I am. I'm a partner in a small company, which gives me a decent uh, standard of living, and professionally, it's the whole story in 12 words. Um, in other, the, the obsession for all my youth uh, has been to have sex. And I understand this is not really so unique sick or original. Um, there's a book called 50 Psychology Classics, and by the way I'll need a note of that, um, in which they speak about some classics from Mihaly Csikszentmihalyi to Martin Seligman, from Sonia Lubomirsky to Falban Chahari is there? I'm, I'm not sure, but he, he should be. Um, and in one, they talk about the difference, amazing difference, between the thoughts of the female and the male. One classic in there is the female brain by Benson Green, and I forgot the name, of a woman psychologist and great author. Uh, a woman thinks, I, I, the numbers are wrong, but it's a huge difference, that's I'm sure of that. So maybe it's not five, six times a day, which is what I'm proposing. Uh, she thinks of sex five, six times a day, maybe. Well, the man thinks five, six times a minute. It's a huge difference. I, again, we have to look this up on the net and find the accurate uh, statistics. But nevertheless, my point is, it's a huge difference, and the male in his prime between the ages of, I don't know, again, you need to check that out, uh, 15 and 45, he's thinking, if not all the time, uh, again and again during the day, probably the night too, about uh, having intercourse. Um, quite early, I had my contact with prostitution, um, and uh, that happened in Felix, Felix, near the border with Hungary, when there were many women. I'm trying to see if it still works. Yesterday, my battery went dead, and I was uh, uh, caught in the middle of uh, something. A note. Uh, actually, the note on uh, the, ha the happiness equation. Nim uh, So I was worried not that I may talk uh, nonsense uh, to the walls. Uh, in Felix, there were many women, but many most I'm not sure where, uh, with boyfriends uh, engaged. Uh, uh, not available anyway, and I was sort of busy, I think. Much of the story is made up, it's, uh, it's fantasy, it's fiction. So this is how I'll probably uh, get out if uh, anybody sees this and he's upset that um, some version of his appears here or hers. Uh, but then nobody watches, and as I said, it's a lot of fiction because I don't remember. So some of these things are made up, but just I think it might have been this. Anyway, whatever the circumstances, a lot of work and just two girls who had no boyfriend, but they were like uh, uh, I don't know, the witch from the Wizard of Oz, ugly. Um, I said, okay, let's, let's find another solution. And there was uh, this woman who was uh, somehow of 
available, but only if um, uh, conditions were met. Uh, if um, she didn't have a romantic interest, but a financial or material one anyway, because financially, I didn't give her money per se. I gave her cigarettes. Gave her cigarettes. Cigarettes or two were a uh, um, sort of hard currency. You could get canned cigarettes, Marlboro. They were very popular back then. Uh, only the dollar shops were somehow imported from outside. Well, basically you could find nothing in the shops. But these were like uh, uh, a different denomination, a different currency. Uh, you went to the doctor, you knew you had to go with something. Cigarettes and coffee were the preferred uh, gifts. Right. And it's not just doctors. My doctor, my sister is a doctor. So let me not just throw the blame on these guys. Whatever you did, wherever you went, uh, to get approval, to get something. And it was that these people also had to survive and had to give in their turn such things, gifts and that, to others in order to get by, to get... I had to go to the... when making the accounts, even if I didn't make any mistake, I didn't make any misappropriation, which I did once in a while, I had to give something. Um, so, this was the first. This was when I was so young, I don't know, 21 or 22. Uh, but then I sort of had to uh, do this quite often after that. <laughs>